Hey, what's going on, all you boob tubers out there? It's Matt with Beardius Gaming coming at you with what is it? Episode one, two, three, four. It must be episode five by now. Uh, we are just moving along, taking back Calderas from these uh, filthy orc fiends, and I believe we had we didn't get any we didn't bang up on any levels, but we did have some possibly some gear to roll around. Now we did get this in our last mission, the Rosarius, and essentially that's our Invuln bubble. Uh, activating that will make our entire squads, it's not proper English, to make all of our squads invulnerable for a given period of time. So we'll just slap that on the FC. Uh, doesn't look like he can equip anything else. We still have the mantle of the Great Father on there. Let's see, Tarkus. Tarkus still isn't getting any uh, we did get this, Righteous Wisdom, but we need to get a couple levels up. Unforgiving Truth. We do have some of this. What do we got here? Herald of the Coming Doom. Oh, yeah. Plus two melee skill. We'll have to slap that on the, the FC when the time comes. And let's see, Avitus. Nothing for you, buddy. And Cyrus. Now we do have the shotgun, and again, I don't think I'm going to um, slap that on him anytime soon. Actually, maybe next mission, I think it is, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. But we do have this. Now, normally, given that I usually don't start with a plethora of um, firearms, uh, machines of death, and um, awesome body armor, usually I would slap this right on Cyrus, but we do have the Grim Silence already, which is superior in every way to the improved scout armor. I mean, look, it's green as opposed to white. Remember, everybody, it all comes back to Diablo. So, what we're going to do with this, we're going to take this and we're going to donate it to the Librarium. And that's going to give, we get 20 experience, and everybody will get that much closer to the next level up. So, yeah, the FC, Tarkus, maybe Avitus, depending on how much killing we get done, depending on how killy we are, are all going to ding up. So, let's, uh, without further ado, without further Iatsian, well, let's get into it. Commander, the time has come to strike at our true enemy. Whoever has been provoking and guiding the Greenskins is holed up at Fellhammer Mine on the outskirts of Argus. We believe that Mech Badzappa, the orc who escaped us when you first arrived on Calderas, is also headed for the mine. You and your squads will drop south of Fellhammer and push north. Strength and firepower will pay greater dividends than stealth. For this reason, Sergeant Cyrus will remain aboard the Armageddon and provide mission support. Okay, so Cyrus is gonna sit in the, he's gonna take a seat in the back seat, and as a result, um, well, you'll see. I don't want to spoil anything for you. I mean, I mean, I guess the screen kind of already does. Yeah, we're gonna get our, uh, we're gonna get our fourth squad, not counting the FC, and he's gonna be, he's the other gentleman I mentioned is spec for melee, um, which has its own, which I don't know if they really uh, balanced him out that well. Um, Thaddeus, kind of a bitch. Who's that in the sky? <laughs> Gotta love the orcs. All right, let's get everybody in a position. With me, brothers, advance. Let's get, and let's get Cyrus. Eliminate oh, Cyrus orcs. isn't here. That's right. Oops. Forgot already. That's what you get. That's what you get, man. Move north up the valley, Commander. Get to Fellhammer Mine and find out who is stirring up the orcs. Adjust your positions. Movement on the ridge. Gone. But those were no orcs. How ominous. Okay. Here is the convoy. The orcs slaughtered them. We will avenge them. Keep moving. Orc gunners on the ridge! Get to cover! Fury from the sky! Cut them down! And the FC ticks up. And now, Thaddeus 
Sergeant Thaddeus, reporting for duty, Commander. Did you have a pleasant rest, waiting for the most dramatic moment to strike? Good to see you too, Avatus. And let's get Thaddeus in. Once his cooldown is up, and we'll drop him Commander, right in the midst my of everybody. Squad can use our jump packs to land right in the middle of those gunners. They're no match for us in close combat. Gunners eliminated. Commander, there is a communications array nearby that we should secure for the chapter. Strategic assets like these grant us combat advantages and allow us to more easily reinforce in the field. I will run a scan on their defenses. Commander, the orcs are well entrenched at the main entrance. A frontal assault would be unwise. A jump, some grenades, and we're in, Cyrus. And right in the sights of the whole orc horde. Okay, so we have an option here. And probably what I'm going to do, I'm going to put Tarkus right up here because he seems to have the most range. We're going to put, oops, we're going to put Avitus in right over there to gun them. And we're going to get the FC up here ready to charge in and, um, you know, tank some shots to the face. And then... Full assault then! Strike hard and true! And come on, Avatus, where are you at, buddy? You're, you're killing Avatus. me, bud. You're killing me. There is such okay. a thing as timely entry. I mean, there's there's a thing as being fashionably late. And then let's get Marcus coming up here. And then we're just going to jump right in the midst of this. Just handily. Let's get the FC in. And Scourge of Xenos. Alright, let's, let's deal with this, guys. Let's get you untactiqued. Let's get Thaddeus capturing that. And clear up everybody. Get everybody else rounding up. Okay, so yeah, the Space Marines have a tactical doctrine. They call it the Codex Astartes. And essentially... You know, all the all the new recruits start out as scouts um, uh, under the tutelage. The array is in our hands. Excellent, Commander. This array will provide us with valuable combat intelligence in future operations. Fellhammer Mine is close by, Commander. Shut up, Cyrus. Jesus. Oh, didn't capture this, so we'll capture that. And in the meanwhile, I'll blather on. So yeah, um, all the scouts are new recruits. Um, they get recruited from recruiting worlds, such as Calderas, um, which is why these killing machines are so obsessed with preserving um, a dirt ball uh, Tatooine. And after spending, you know, a hundred years as a scout, then they can get upgraded to become Devastator Marines. Um, and, you know, after another hundred years, they become Assault Marines. And then ultimately, um, they become tactical marines, and tactical marines are the jack of all trades. They can charge in, they can gun from afar. Um, they're really the bread and butter of a space marine army. Um, now the FC, I don't really know what he's doing besides just, I mean, just look at him. I mean, he's looking terrific. Trouble. These are the orc guards killed where they stood. Someone else has gone through here. Swiftly, before the humans arrive. We cannot allow one obstinate orc to derail the Vossia's plan. Repositioning. Thaddeus reporting in. Assault squad repositioning. It explodes, Sky Killer and Gut Wrencher. The cyborg eye says you ain't even orcs at all! Now the humans join the fray, I see. Yeah, I'm getting some serious lag issues with the Eldar. God, it's Eldar. Let's get these guys in here. Let's get the FC charging in. And let's see if we can get Thaddeus in up there. Kill those Eldar before they escape. The problem with Thaddeus is that despite being spec for melee, he's about as tough as um piece of paper. Let's get Thaddeus on out. Let's get the FC on out. Let's get, um, Tarkus, what are you doing, buddy? Probably just clicked up there tonight. I don't I can't even really hold Tarkus 
at complete fall for what he's doing because it's what I'm doing. Okay, let's get some grenades out. What are you doing? There we go. Break their morale. Chance of resolve. Okay, let's get Thaddeus capturing that. We'll just hold up. Oh, 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 oh. Is he going to make it? Ooh, I did. Wow. That was unexpected. All right, let's get you over there. Okay, let's get everybody out. Let's pull back. Retreat there. Let's get Avitus in down here. Just a little crossfire. Crossfire! Anybody remember that game from what was it, like 90s? Okay, so... Smoke that. Let's stock up. Because this next guy is a bit of a D-bag. We're going to need all we can get. I mean, even with Thaddeus, you can spec all your guys out. With, um, uh, Force Commander, Tarkus, Avitus, and... Uh, Thaddeus, you can spec them all out with um, what's known as Terminator armor later on in the game, and we can get into that later. And even with Terminator armor on, which is like the, the I mean, you're essentially a walking battle tank. Um, Thaddeus still just gets chewed up so hard, so it's really it's kind of tough utilizing him. Okay, where do we want to go? Let's get Tarkus in over here. Come on, where's the, where's the cover? Come on. I mean, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Let's get Avitus in here. Let's just get the FC and Thaddeus rolling in. Rolling in heavy. Oh, I don't have a locator beacon either. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Kill all Xenos, huh? Well, obviously... I haven't killed everybody yet. Let's get the FC over here just scouting. Because if he takes a shot upside the head, he must have like an adamantium skull. He's got to get some Wolverine action going on in here. Let's pull them back. Assault squad repositioning. Pull them right into our web. We'll do an Eldar on the Eldar. Let's charge. Let's get you right in the midst of it, Thaddeus. Okay, let's get a... What is that? O or Q? No, it's gotta be O. Let's get everybody just gunning on him. Pull, uh, pull my bubble. Let's get you guys over here. Let's get you guys over here. Let's see if we can just drop on you. Oh, see, Thaddeus is just getting chewed up. He just gets chewed up so hard. Get you guys doing your super duper. Yeah, Thaddeus. Let's retreat Thaddeus. Because he is just about Dunsky. No, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back! I gotta click it! Yes! There we go. Woo! The orcs could have slowed them down, given us time. You, you have doomed us all. Rant all you wish, Eldar. We stand, and you have fallen. Zeal and fury are rewarded with victory. All right, like that's why I love Tarkus. He just lays it out, just tells them how it is. Listen, bub. You can say what you want. You're the one laying on the ground, and we're the one standing, proud and tall. All right, enough of that. So we got some level ups. Of course, Cyrus, being a little bum, he just stayed. He just stayed in the seat, didn't really get anything. So got a ton of heavy bolters. So we'll have to see which one is really the best. Got a new sword, new chain sword that'll come in handy, and we got our signum. So uh, let's continue on. Allocate some of this gear. Um, but yeah, I mean, these guys are the, the Genesis. I mean, I'm sure a lot of these concepts were drawn from earlier science fiction stories, um, and works. I want to say 40, I think Games Workshop initially developed Warhammer Fantasy, I think in the 80s. I don't know how long after 40K came around. Um, but I mean, it's definitely before, uh, StarCraft, 
uh, Halo, a lot of the more well-known and modern takes on, you know, uh, Xenos factions, intergalactic battles, that kind of thing. Um, and I mean, you can even see with the Space Marines, like there's similarities to the Terran Marines, for example. Um, and the concept of, you know, genetically modified super soldiers um, with the Spartans. Um, but, you know, these guys, I mean, they're not so much genetically modified super soldiers as they're genetically modified um, psychopaths. Um, I guess in the lore, I mean, I, the only the only 40K lore I've ever read is really uh, Caiaphas Cain, the Caiaphas Cain novels. This is a grave development, Commander. The Eldar are evidently provoking and influencing the Orcs. Their involvement is hardly good news. They claim to be stirring up the Orcs to combat a common threat. What could that be? I would not put much stock in what the Eldar say. They are deceitful and manipulative by nature. That they are, Tarkas. But the Eldar aren't fools. The warlock you defeated may have been guiding the orcs here on Calderas, but he was only one part of a larger plan. We are receiving reports that the Eldar are stirring up the orcs on the nearby Typhon system. The Armageddon will take you to Typhon, so you can engage the enemy there. I will relay all distress signals we receive from Typhon back to you. All right, so... Uh, we have a, a little bit of a cliffhanger, so it looks like we're done on Calderas. Um, no activity to report, and after we get this, get our level ups done, we do. There is going to be a three planets. Commander, this is the Armageddon's navigation display. From here, you can review data on the planets of the Aurelian subsector. You can also order the Armageddon to initiate warp travel to one of these worlds. When you are ready, initiate travel to the Typhon system. Okay, thank you, Martellus, our resident tech marine. Dick. Uh, anyway, so, yep, there's going to be three worlds, Calderas, Typhon, and another one will eventually populate here. Um, we also see our strategic assets um, that we will have throughout the game. Now we have our number of communication arrays, um, and that will um, determine how many times we can use the Signum. Um, we have our shrines that will determine how many times we can use the Rosarius, and our automated foundries will determine how many sentry guns that we can drop in a given uh, mission. So, uh, But before we get into that, I think we have enough time, we'll get through with some level ups. Now, let's see here, we have our big FC, and Herald of the Coming Doom, plus two melee skill. Alright, we're going to slap that on you. Alright, and any... Oh yeah, we're gonna slap on the Curus of Azariah. Yeah, it's just a lot better. Hey, look at that. He's got some. He's, he's either silver, platinum. I mean, he is just looking the part of Space Marine Commander. So definitely a good fit there. Um, think we're. I, I think I'm gonna keep him kind of our our resident like tank slash buff bot. So uh, now for the points. Now I am going to go for Battle Cry because that will that comes in handy during boss battles. We can activate that, and he can't be knocked down, and he just starts um, just starts just massacring things. So we'll get that going. I think that's a good fit. Let's go to Thaddeus. Um, so we have four points for Thaddeus. Do we have any gear? Okay, we can slap a new pistol on him. Actually, let's go back here. No, no, no new, no new chain swords. So. Um, we're gonna leave that be. No new weapons, so I mean Thaddeus, he's got a ways to go. Now Thaddeus, again, just like everybody else, he's got the same, you know, health, uh, rifle, melee, and energy. Now with him, I, you can get him to equip weapons, but I mean... I mean, I just don't know. It's just not worth it. I have read that in the higher difficulties, when, since, I mean, everybody is just about as thin as tissue paper, and they they only serve to really delay the enemy for about four seconds before they chew through them and uh, get to the FC. Um, it is kind of a better idea to keep spec everybody for range. Um, even the melee guys are just essentially just less efficient at range. But, do an extra loadout. Merciless Strike. All right, I know there's only two slots to go on this, but I think I'm going to go from Strike from the Skies, because then when he jumps on people, it causes suppression, um, and it damages them and knocks back. And then the next pip, I think I'm actually going to tank, spec his health out first, 
because whenever he jumps or teleports, um, he'll be temporarily invulnerable, which will help with his survivability. I'll just put that one in there. Tarkus. Okay, so we were going up this way. Now he's got Taunt, which will draw fire. Okay. And we have this. Okay. So let's... Well, let's get his load... Let's get his uh, extra uh, loadout slot. Let's just get that out of the way because, I mean, he's already got two. Um, but, you know, a third one never hurts. So let's see here. Okay, so uh, increased damage and a little over 10% chance of knockback enemies. So, improvement. And he's got a sick-ass scope on it. That's a win. Alright, so since he is the only one who's going to be using bolters, we're going to recycle this. And get some XP. Okay, and let's check the armor out. Mantle of Cronus. Male of Zeal. Hmm. Let's see what this looks like on him. Oh yeah. He's got a gold skull. He's got some iron cross uh, memorabilia on his left shoulder. Yeah, that's a win. That's a win on that. Let's check out Evitus. And we're going to keep that on him. And let's check our bolters out. This is more damage. 11% chance. Kind of a little AoE damage. 17, plus 17 damage to all nearby enemies. 6. 6. Oof. Reloads less frequently. Alright, I'm going to go with this. Let's see. 79... Yeah, that's a huge jump. That almost doubled his his uh, his damage. Almost doubled it. And we're going to recycle this. And Cyrus levels up. We'll hold on to this um, just in case. I don't really like recycling um, unique war gear um, unless I have to. Which, you know, it might get to that point. And everybody's got their armor, so let's at least slap this on Thaddeus so he's a little bit, little bit more survivable and until we can get him up to higher levels. Now the Signum, I am going to take this off him and I'm going to give Havitus the Signum. And he's just going to be our artillery guy, just calling in the bombs. And so we put this on you for your accuracy. And let's see, let's, we were going up to improve focus, so let's tick that up. Next. Okay, anything for you? Ooh, oh, he does have a sniper rifle. Oh my god. That's crazy. Plus 5% accuracy, plus 7 damage. Well, I'm taking it. I'm slapping it on him. Oh yeah. That's a win. Okay, and you're good. You got your tarantula guns. We're going to get improved infiltration for Cyrus. Okay. And that's really about it. So next episode, we'll be getting off to Typhon and deal with whatever it is that we've got to deal with over there. Again, thank you for joining me. It's been an immense pleasure, an immense pleasure. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, um, you know, just give me the loving. I'll see you again next time. Thank you for joining me. Peace.